Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? Daily message in here. We're looking today at September 21st. And yes, we, we're going through a full moon quite strongly. And the full moon in Pisces started on the 20th late afternoon around 7 p.m. The timeline I am right here for some of you could be earlier or could still happening. And I feel here it's a very, very, very strong full moon for many, many of you. You might have a burst of emotions. You might feel more intuitive because that's how the Piscean is. And I believe at this time the Neptune is in retrograde, which is a very favorable planet for Pisceans. You know, one of the planets rule is also Jupiter for the Pisceans about movement. And to not forget yet, we are moving into the Libra season quite quickly, faster than many of you think, because I feel the energy of Libra is already in that place. So let's see, loves, how this day is going and how the energies are out there. As always, you know that the dailies are specifically these videos longer than usually we do here on the channel are not affiliated with any zodiac whatever comes through is sharing at this time for any of you if you feel that this speaks to you or you get quite great information or a message to you don't hesitate to leave your feedback down below as well if you are coming across to the channel. Never ever forget to push that like, that subscribe, and that shareable button. Let's see, loves. September 21st. As well, we have the, um, the fall equinox on the 21st, 22nd. So in a few days, as we speak right now, including today, we are in such a big burst of energy. So here we are, love. Protecting, protection guardian, drop your shields. For some of you, you, you might not have that energy that I need to let go certain things or whatever it is is happening. You do have protections from the angels, believe it or not. Traveler, move in a new direction. There is something here that whatever you hold, now is the time, or let's say it's a very good time to move into that direction. As well, don't forget, Mercury starts on September 27th. Again, another angel here, animal guardian. Trust your instincts. That's what very much speaks about the, the full moon in Pisces. Trust your intuition. And it's quite unbelievable that this is the deck's cover. It's very, very special. Another card we have Lady. Very feminine energy. Enjoy growth and reap rewards. And wow. This is a young male here. Medicine guardian, another guardian. Be open to healing information. Goodness. We have three guardians and a lady here. So indeed here, it's very young energy to speak, but very fulfilling as well. As you see here, that's so much green. That's what I choose to, to be in a green energy today and yes my shirt is red because it's one of the colors which give me energy and being a Sagittarius that's how it is you wear what you feel and burst like and green as well it's the Virgo energy for me nonetheless 
I feel here for many, many of you, there's something here coming to you and it's big and I feel here you, you might put resistance that you feel like it's like something not okay or something that you are not feeling comfortable because it's, it's quite intimidating, whatever it's coming. And what I'm saying here, go ahead, loves, intend and create the high priest. This is the high priestess in the tarot deck. In this deck, it's a male high priest. It's more likely the high priest is the hierophant energy and very much speaks about trust your intuition where you're going towards your stability, your stable self. And yes, as we're moving into the Libra season, it's all about balance, trying to balance things. And not only outside, but inside, inward energy. Let's see, loves, what this is for. And where are we going? For some of you, you are doing healing energy or you are working on a healing energy as we have guardians. For others of you, I will say protect yourself by low vibration energy. And for others, pay attention to your dreams. What your inner voice speaks to you. Okay? That's it, loves. An overarching energy for the reading goodness. High Priestess. There is something here your intuition is telling you. Please follow that. Okay? Underneath we have Nine of Wands. The resistance, they're like, what's going on? I'm not quite sure. But that's, we're speaking about the Wheel of Fortune, the Jupiter. There is something here, the universe is telling you, there is movement and you, you quite don't believe it or you just feel like, I'm not quite sure. Queen of Pentacles here. Take care of you, take care of your needs. Because Queen of Pentacles is that quite, is that type of person who takes care of others more than she's taking care of herself. And yes, is a hardworking person. Let's see. Ace of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Strength. Hangman. Five of Wands. This is coming. Could come sooner or later than five weeks. Or could be five days, five weeks. Hangman. Five of Wands. Queen of Wands. Another five. Five of Cups. Tower. You know, when we see the tower in a reading, the moment could be right now. And Lovers. Choices. There's something here very much speaks that somebody here is kind of like, nah, I'm good on my own. I'm better this. I got to do this instead of that. Because I feel here somebody here is offering, is offered this Ace of Pentacles. They don't want it. Or they are not ready to get it. kind of like somebody here is like I I thought I will go through this and then we'll do the next but it's it's something here that I'm not quite sure what to do somebody here is giving a question I have here pretty a lot of zodiac signs I have Piscean double Piscean 
Scorpio, Sag, Leo, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's do some clarifications here for this Five of Wands. Seven of Cups. Judgment. One more card. And Queen of Cups. Six of Cups here. What I'm seeing here, somebody here offered to somebody a very good offer. Whatever the reason was, not at the good time, not at the right time, not the, in the right moment, or I'm dealing with other stuff. And I feel here, whoever offer that offer to whomever was very confused. At one point, it's just like what I what I do not offer. It's like my offer seems great, but I feel here I. I offer very little, but I feel here was not the thing that you or who, whom I'm speaking that they offer a very good offer. I feel here that was the other side, the problem was not you. And I feel here that whomever was offered something, they, they could not know what they have or they have too many things on their hands. Like their hands were full or their plate was full and it's like only this offer was not there. Hangman. Yeah. Ace of Wands. Because somebody here intended with this Ace of Pentacles to come forward. The other one felt like I can offer only this at this moment so indeed here were two different ways of offering and what I'm seeing here whomever here felt you know pressed or in in limbo not going they they realize like I feel here my heart deserve, deserves something else or someone better, someone better. Even there were people around, that person left. I will take my time. I'll be patient. Five of Cups. Devil. Somebody here could be in some sort of commitment or have certain commitments they needed to fulfill or could be in some sort of relationship, you know, physically or on paper with that person, but not quite happy. Having five of cups clarified by the devil, somebody here could be in a toxic connection and that's why they couldn't get something for them or they couldn't even offer. Yeah. And didn't want to put somebody else in a very uncomfortable situation. Whatsoever I feel here could be... Um, come together at one point or have been at one point to be together this person people this two even sexually but I feel here didn't happen because it could be um an argument a fight here of I don't know even what I want and somebody here choose to to go tower because I feel here there's kind of something here in an instant everything was out could be somebody here insisting like let's be together for quite a while could be even a year could be even two years and we're back and forth I will do I will not do back and forth and 
somebody here feels like, you know, I realize with the judgment here, I realize that this is not going anywhere. So let's do something else. I deserve that my heart is quite all over the place. Tower, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody here left and the other person didn't really expect that. But hurt them very, very much. Nine of Cups. Seven of Wands. They could try to, to insist on certain things. But somebody here felt like, you know, I made the decision, I'm out. Whatever that case was. Let's see. Queen, Nine of Pentacles. Temperance. Queen of Wands. Star. I'm healing. I'm grounding. I don't see communication. I feel here somebody here want to clear the energy, want to clear the situation. But that's not happening. One more card for the Nine of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the Star. Chariot, yeah. Somebody here left. Whoever I'm speaking here has a lot of water, could be a water sign or a fire sign with air, especially Aquarius in the chart. The other person could have earth, air, and fire. What's the lovers here for? What I'm hearing here is like somebody here taking some time They realized that they needed to look into the offer. Because in the beginning it was like, no, thank you. I'm not interested. I, I don't want to even look at it. It's not for me, kind of, right away. That's why you hear me in my readings many times. There are certain souls that indeed here it's worth to look in what they can offer what they can put on the table and that's why i learn in the long run whoever ever offers you something don't say right away no the reason is that's how the universe works and that's how i learn it consider it don't respond right away don't give an impulse or a respond right away Take your time and reflect. It is worth to go forward or is worth to go backwards or to not even give any energy. It's a free will in every situation. But the fact that you hold the answer, it's your power. And that's how the universe is because the universe always offer flow 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 movement 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 but if you are cut off from this flow until no we gotta stop here then the universe is trying other courses but if you go with the flow it's a different way of the universe offering you okay if this opportunity i give let's go along to the river stream and we'll get another one and see and we'll sail smoothly around you and around your life you don't need all the time to say yes that's why we along the life will learn the word no and it's quite powerful and as well the word yes is quite powerful you just need to know when to act with it other thing here, what I'm seeing, whoever here said no, I need to do other stuff, they now reconsider it. They now look at it. Well, it was worth to look at that. Seemed like a great idea. 
but I feel here it's kind of the the train is gone. The car is gone, basically. Because I'm feeling here somebody here realized with the judgment and Queen of Cups that well my heart wants something else. And I gotta go and search for it. Gotta pay attention on my move, on my dreams, and as well on my healing. And of course, what I wish for. Lovers. Four of Cups. Sun. Two of Cups. And the Emperor. Somebody here now is determined to, to get that missed opportunity. But it seems here that somebody here is gone. And I feel here whoever didn't got this offer or didn't accept or didn't even want to consider it is because they've been dealing here in some sort of karmic tie or they need to fulfill some sort of karmic energy. Let's see, will they get the shot or not? Will they get their missed opportunity back or not? Nine of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Magician. And Four of Swords. Underneath we have the Knight of swords ace of swords ten of pentacles i feel here this person might not get what they want but at least they will have a word to say whatever was and how the things was but the thing here if you are the one who watches and you need to say to somebody or whatever it is Somebody here, before going to say certain things, they need to be this Four of Swords. To take the time and think every single move. Because Knight of Swords is somebody who says certain things which later might regret them. If will be the Queen of Swords will be a different story, but seeing this... Knight of Swords, like, rushing in and saying, like, you know, like a hurricane comes and destroy everything. That's what I'm feeling. Yes, magician here, yes, it is able to go forward. And it's thinking, but I feel here there's a lack of energy here or a lack of something. So if somebody here feels vulnerable and they go ahead might not be very much understood what they truly need to say or what they truly need meaning, what they truly mean out there. Because I'm feeling here, there is something here being, will be said here. Ten of Wands. A burden will be put down. But luckily here, likely here will not be a take back energy or this opportunity is not available anymore. Because Ten of Wands is putting a burden down here. And I feel here somebody here is quite determined. So if you have somebody here and you sense they coming around and they want to say, yes, their intention is to get again back whatever they lost. But if even they cannot get what they want to, at least they will have a closure moment. So either way, some sort of resolution will happen with this person. And if they were in this page and they still have the energy of the night, they feel they can make it. But I feel here there's a big insecurity here around this person 
the way they communicate or there's some it's like I, I hear a shaky voice or because it's it's not about emotions. I don't see here any emotions put in. I see them over here if they get acceptance. But I feel here's like a winning prize energy and it's the ego of the emperor speaks up. But I'm feeling here the resolution here is yes, I'm not feeling in the best way. But I'll take time and I will say what I need to say because it's like a burden just keeping it inside me. So it's like this person or whoever, they want to release. You might feel like what in the earth they are happening to come for. Let's see. Nine of Wands, why you're here. Seven of Swords. Again, with your bullshit kind of a thing. Empress. Hierophant, tell me again your your sugar coating lies. You know, Seven of Swords, Empress, and the the Hierophant very much speaks about that somebody here is telling you the things you want to hear, not necessarily the the truth. And I feel here is this person is not coming with this. Okay, full, but I also. There, there is an air of this person or um, a trait of this person that they have and they didn't really change. And that trait is a little like careless. If something doesn't work, then they overreact kind of a thing. So you, you feel like which mood I will get from this person or in which mood I will get this person or how to be around this person so their mood cannot get, you know, this kind of a thing. But I feel here this is this is a person who want to say probably the last word. And sometimes you, if you really want to closure or to have closure with somebody, let them speak whatever they want to speak. Okay? Because sometimes just them releasing but you are having that shield around you to not get to you will release them from your energy they will release the energy and they will move forward you will move forward and so on because i'm feeling here there is an energy here that kind of like we have this unfinished business but if i don't get my way I rather say anyway certain things, you know. I'm not just letting this just like that. And I don't feel here it's about love. Yes, somebody here wants love, wants somebody new, wants something new. But having the Emperor Two of Cups in here, it's more likely they want it the, the way they want it. It's not like it's a flow energy here. And two of swords here. This person, somebody here really needs to open up their heart. Whoever is. And not only their heart, could be even their mind as well. So yeah, loves. The energy I feel here that one of you is very, very alignment, very, very stress-free kind of energy. It's like, you know, I'm with my guides. I know what I do. The other one doesn't really know how they can get out there you know like kind of like how I can get in and put my mark over there it's in a very stress but it's not the stress that the right word it's like more like if I will go in a way I don't know if I get it, if I'll go it's like they they try to find the the 
the best way they can get to the target. If they in the past could get very easy, now they feel like it's not that easy and I need some upgrades out there. Because I, indeed here, there's somebody here who does have a lot of beautiful energy and a lot of guardians, a lot of protection around them. And that might be you because look at here. Yes, you are the priest, high priestess, you know, divine masculine or feminine, but we have medicine guardian. We have animal guardian. We have protection guardian and we have earth guardian. Look at this. And we have the shaman here afterwards. High priest. There's a lot of protection. Somebody here indeed is very much in the protection energy strongly or knows how to protect their energy so not be got, gotten from others. And that is very much for their growth and rewards. And the, the new direction is kind of like, you know, they're not stopping me even they even coming back. I am on my way. And, you know, it's like how I see it is just like, you know, like a tent. You are in a tent and you just go with the tent forward. That's how I'm feeling here. But also it's kind of like you... You're not going quite fast. Whoever I'm speaking here. Let's see, one advice or one message from the universe for you. It's a very beautiful energy, whoever works with protection energies, because you know we all are an energy. Three of Cups, Five of Swords, and Justice, Two of Wands. I feel here this is very strong about boundaries. Very, very strong about boundaries. If you made a decision and you are looking forward to it, even you are meeting again this person, even you are getting along, like you know if they are bullshitting or not because you are in this justice energy. Okay? And I feel here staying in this boundary energy this person anyway will let go and move forward. I don't feel it's like it's like somebody here is kind of make a standby energy and then they leave. So if somebody comes around again, I don't see somebody here you get and take with you, but most likely it's a release energy. This person has a lot of work to do. But I feel here you you got to be firm or you got to be quite firm, whatever you say, whatever you do. It's kind of you are in your energy. But the other thing here, if in the past this person were feeding, you know, there's some people are vampires. If this person were feeding out of your energy and we're feeling great, hey, here and there. Now I feel them, it's kind of they are afraid of. So that's, I feel here is like, you know, sometimes like you might feel like why they come in here, but sometimes gotta f see their fears up front, yeah. They gotta have a lot of work to do. So that's what I'm hearing. 
and that's what I'm seeing for you loves today I feel I hope this speaks for some of you but you know the energy it's kind of like who's scary who or who is afraid of who if somebody here has a lot of things or a lot of say and very much like hey you know hear me out like they they realize here that it's kind of like I'm coming pointlessly here it's like yes this meeting is but we are two strangers you know that that big hole in between you two that's what the thing is and I feel here that's very much a release energy whatever that energy is and whoever I'm speaking I hope resonates for some of you but that's what I get for you loves and one more thing here for some of you, you could in the past want it deeply for this person to be the one or the spouse or the one you marry. And now you're just like, goodness. And yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.